Hey guys, welcome to Jurassic Collectibles. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the competition, the giveaway competition on the main page. You could win yourself um, a Jurassic Park Blu-ray steelbook, um, a Hollywood clapper board, and a replica brochure. So go and check it out. Entry is free, and uh, you'll be counted and uh, included for the draw. But today, I'm very, very excited. We're looking at another Papo item, a surprise Papo item, and it's this guy. Now, unless you can tell, it's the uh, Jurassic Park uh, Brachiosaurus uh, from Papo. Now, obviously, it's not officially branded as a Jurassic Park Brachiosaurus, but the likeness is uncanny. So, uh, let's get a look at this guy. Let's break this guy out. So, with this one, Papo hasn't decided to include um, a plastic tray for the base of the feet. Um, but here the guy is. Again, an, an amazing sculpt. Let's first let's get a whole body shot. Um, now I've noticed that a lot of reviews online for this uh, this figurine from Papo haven't been shot in daylight, and it's a bit misleading because you can't get a good idea of what the coloration of the uh, Brachiosaurus is. So you can see here it's a bluish grey um, with a sort of tan. Uh, underside and it very closely matches the Brachiosaur we see in Jurassic Park. Now I've heard people say it's green um, I wouldn't agree with that I would say it's more of a, a bluish grey. There probably is a little bit of green in there but it's more predominantly grey. So let's get a closer look at this guy. So starting with the head just look at that. So um, it's been noted that most Brachiosaurus um, figurines don't have an open mouth and Papo have really gone all out again to create an open mouthed figurine. And as you can see, they've done the individual peg like teeth and the tongue. I would say the interior of the mouth is lacking a little bit of detail. The tongue's quite smooth, and the teeth are a little less separated than um, their usual figurines. But in terms of the sculpt for this guy, I mean, he looks really true to the, the Brachiosaurus that we see in the Jurassic Park films. Um, it, it just looks really, really good. Um, I'm not sure where the nostril position was uh, for Jurassic Park. I think it was up here in that bit when um, Lex Murphy gets sneezed on. But... Um, yeah, it's just a really wonderful head sculpt. They've done a really good job. Like I said, could be more detailed around the mouth, but to be honest, I'm being really fussy. Okay, so carrying on down the neck, we've got this staggering detail, all these folds and creases, which we've come to expect from Papo and no one else. Um, Kenna, I'm looking at you. Um, not Kenna, um, uh, Hasbro, sorry. Hasbro, I'm looking at you. Um, I'm hoping that if they do some more Jurassic Park uh, toys, uh, they should uh, try and um, try and match this level of detail. Because to be honest, it's unmatched by any other company at the moment. It's really good. As you can see, they've done beautiful musculature on the legs, the claws on the feet. Just really wonderful de detail. It looks almost like um, an elephant's foot. They've even done the underside. Really beautiful. And then carrying on down here we've got some lovely striations and the folds. When I've seen some reviews already I've noticed this line down the middle and I thought maybe it was where they sandwiched two halves of the toy together but they haven't. It's just, uh, it's just a striation running down. It's a fold in the skin. And there's the beautiful back legs which look almost like rhino legs. On the other side, absolutely amazing, really good. Now the only thing I'd say is proportionally the tail looks a little stubby, um, but to be honest it's not a major factor and you might feel differently. Um, and this might well be the way <laughs> that the Brachiosaur is depicted in Jurassic Park. But I just got the feeling that the, the tail was just a little bit stubby. But I might be wrong. I'll just show you there the body from side on. Just really, really nice. Absolutely wonderful. And then the other side. Really 
good paint job, absolutely wonderful. So one thing I have noticed is that if you look around the neck area here, there is a seam running all the way around. You can see it along here and all the way around. So it does look like they've built this neck section separately and then attached that. And that's how they've got around the fact that he's so big. Same with the tail. If you look here, you can see a seam running all the way around and it runs underneath and onto the other side. So the body section is actually separate to the tail and the head section. So um, just something to note there. Um, but it doesn't um, uh, affect the, the look of the piece. It ends up just looking like another fold of skin. So to me that doesn't make much difference. So here's the Papo Brachiosaurus next to the Papo Brown T-Rex for a size comparison. And as you can see, the Brachiosaurus towers over the T-Rex, as it should. And uh, it's absolutely massive. Um, I mean, I have big hands, and you can see uh, it's, <laughs> it's ginormous. So, um, yeah, absolutely staggering. So this one's interesting. This is the baby green T-Rex with the Brachiosaurus. These don't scale too well. Um, I would expect the baby green T-Rex to be much smaller than this. Um, he actually comes up to about the shoulder of the Brachiosaurus. But, um, I mean, it's a small quibble, but um, I think it's important sometimes that all the figures scale well with each other. But in terms of the big T-Rex to this Brachiosaurus, it works fine. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, please rate, comment and subscribe. If you've got any questions, put them below. And don't forget to enter the competition on the main page, on the channel page. Um, it's going to be a great giveaway and uh, yeah, it'd be great for you to enter and, and get your point of view on the question. Okay guys, I'll see you soon.